Hey pretties, welcome back to my channel. I'm back again looking the same as the last video in this intro. You know the drill, we're filming all the intros in one day. Clearly the actual footage of this stuff was not filmed all in one day. This was a lot of work, but we are now in part three of my vanity makeup declutter organizational you know the trail. Yeah, you know, I'm not gonna ramble too much. We're just gonna start right where we left off in the last video. Hey guys, so it's been a few days. I have not finished my makeup organization. This is the situation. <laughs> I know, I know, it's been like this for a week now, so we need to get this show on the road. We need to get all of this organized because I'm tired of this corner. I can't even get into my closet over there. So we really need to resolve this. Um, Dior saying hello. Hi, mama. Hi. Say hi. Say hi, everyone. Subscribe. Say subscribe. <laughs> yeah, so that's what we're doing today. We're doing finally part three and makeup declutter organization if you guys did not see i did already declutter all of my eyeshadow well not all of them but i went through all of my eyeshadow palette collection and decluttered quite a few so i'm going to link that video down below if you guys are interested in watching it and let's go ahead and tackle this tower right here i've gotten so many questions this is from impressions vanity i'm gonna link it down below my entire vanity setup is impressions vanity so if you are interested um i will link this below it's fairly affordable i feel like it's a little pricey but for what it is i feel like it's a good price so it's about 200 dollars or something like that i have to <laughs> i just threw organizers in here to get them out of the way basically we have palette organizers up there um i my bullet lipsticks i'll show you guys what i did so in here i have a bunch of empty mac boxes that i just need to throw away like lipstick boxes and then <laughs> random eyelash glue and I have these lipsticks I still gotta put away but I used one of these organizers and this is how I will be organizing my bullet lipsticks I don't have that many and I keep most of my favorites up in this thing but these are just my extras my MAC collection more Charlotte Tilbury and I do turn them upside down so that I can read them so that's what's going on. I feel like I really like this. I'm not gonna be decluttering these. I decluttered these not long ago and I honestly have not added that many unless they were Gucci or Charlotte Tilbury or something like that and those are some that are very expensive so I think hard before I buy those and I really love them so we have an empty slot here. I found this random Maybelline lipstick I bought a while back when I was out of town so I put that there and um, yeah, this is gonna have to go somewhere. Um, I'm gonna try to fit it inside of this, but I think this organizer might be too tall. So, I think maybe we should put it this way since the back one is empty. Oh wow, that actually worked perfectly. So this is gonna be m another lip drawer. There's not gonna be anything in here. I don't really have lip palettes either. So I think this is just gonna stay as it is. I could have done like an organizer with lip liners, but I prefer to keep my lip liners in here because they're more accessible. So we're gonna keep them in here. This little thing I also got from Impressions. I also wanted to mention during my eyeshadow palette declutter, I forgot to get these palettes out and show them to you in that video. Um, but yeah, I have all of these Too Faced palettes that I'm not gonna be getting rid of because I love their tin packaging. And some of these are very nostalgic, like this Chocolate Bonbons palette. I used it in a minute, but I love using it to like just display. And I think I even missed a Huda palette, but I can't remember. <laughs> I can't remember if I did or not, but these are all my Huda palettes. Just following up on that video. Also, I got the new Pat McGrath Bridgerton collection. I will be doing a Valentine's Day look with these, so stay tuned. Um, but yeah, if I sound a little nasally, it's because I'm still getting over this sinus. It actually turned into an infection. It was a cold and I got antibiotics prescribed and now we know it's an infection because I got it checked. So, yes. 
Um, we have another palette here. I just use this on a client because I do makeup on clients. If you guys don't know that, I just started booking people again um, because I'm getting very, very close to graduating. So I will have more time to do my clients once again. Yeah, that's besides the point. I'm rambling. So let's get all this organized. If you notice a bit of difference in quality, that's because I'm using my vlogging camera for this because my vlogging camera not only has stabilization so that the video won't be as shaky, but it's also easier for me to hold and use because it's so much smaller and so much more lightweight than my big, big Sony camera. We're going to be doing this. If you guys want a video on what I use to film, my setup, my equipment, let me know. We could do a little girl boss video and I can show you guys how to get your channel started. This top drawer is going to be lashes and currently there's coffee and lashes. So we need to empty um, all this coffee out. I'm going to find another place for this coffee. This is the coffee that goes for my Keurig over there but I do want to find a better way to store my coffee because I really do need this storage unit for my makeup, especially now that I'm doing clients again. Um, I'm going to have way more makeup to store for my kit. And yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and empty this and I'll be right back. It's all cleaned out. And as you guys know, I am putting eyelashes on this top drawer. Before we organize the drawer, I do want to share with you guys this PR package I got from Divine World of Lashes. And I just want to share with you guys how cute this package is. Um, they sent me some of their lashes here, which are gorgeous. Look how pretty these are. And yes, I know I have my eyelash company as well, but my eyelash company right now is under construction. We're working on a relaunch, so um, yeah, I'm definitely not going to stop from sharing some other lashes with you guys because there's so many girl bosses out there with companies that, you know, we can support. Um, you guys know I am a huge supporter of other women starting businesses like this and you know just getting out of their comfort zone and doing something different so I definitely wanted to share Divine World of Lashes for you guys to check out for your la eyelash needs and um, I just want to say thank you to the owner of Divine Lashes or World of Lashes for sending over this adorable package I will definitely be using these lashes they're so stunning thank you from one lash business owner to the other mad props because this is gorgeous so thank you so so much we're gonna put these away in the drawer so i have like no organizational ideas for this whatsoever but i do have a ton of my eyelashes that i want to store if you guys are wondering these are my eyelashes and I will be relaunching these in about a month or so. I'm looking, I'm, I'm in contact with a warehouse I'm gonna be using, I'm looking for quotes and that will be happening soon. But yeah, those are my lashes. Here's what the packaging looks like on the inside and your lashes just sit in here. And I just used these on a client yesterday, so that's why they're gone. So we actually can throw this box away, although it hurts my heart to throw away <laughs> these boxes because just look at how stunning. I put a lot of effort into this packaging and I wanted it to be like it's a little gift for me to you with the little bow and it looks kind of like a hat box which is super girly and so me, you guys know. We have another and I have quite a bit of my lashes kind of sitting everywhere so I'm just going to throw them all in here. This is going to be my new eyelash drawer. Okay, so the next drawer are my lipsticks which you guys already saw. And then this drawer is gonna be single eyeshadows and glitters. I did put sticky notes to know what I'm doing. So I currently have those in this drawer. So we're just gonna move them up and we do need to probably declutter some of these. I might declutter all of these milk ones because I've had these a long time. I'm pretty sure those are expired. So I'm gonna get rid of those. I'm gonna go ahead and just take all of this stuff out. Go ahead and declutter this pot beauty glitter. These were really nice, but this is very dried out. Here we have all of my Too Faced eye glitters. We have a Jason Wu one. We have this Makeup Revolution one that's stunning. Um, I am going to declutter this Profusion. It's like a glitter eyeliner. This is extremely dried out. You can even see how it's like cracked inside. This one's also dried out. This one's by Pixie. These are amazing, but I've had this way too long. I'm gonna try to just pick this all up in one piece and take it out. Some of the things fell back there, but we'll get to those. Open this new drawer. <laughs> We're just gonna pop this in. One thing I like about these organizers that 
they're easy to move around okay and i scoot it all the way back so we have this area here in the front to be able to put my other glitters i just want to make sure i want to keep everything that's in here i'm trying to put all the glitters together on this row we have some mac glitters these are all of my mac glitters we have these anastasia these are all single eyeshadows from sl miss glam we have a mac um i don't know what is this i'm gonna go ahead and declutter this mac um what is this this is like a light touch pressed pigment because i've had this too long and it's expired so we're gonna get rid of that here's a gel eyeliner by tarte i'm gonna check to see if it's dried out okay so it's not dried out so we're gonna keep this but we're gonna put this here this believe beauty shadow we're gonna keep then i have all of these by um oh my goodness what is it called um focally we have two more of those we have all of these mac shadows that i might depot into a palette these are their powder kiss eyeshadows and these are so good but again i have them in these singles and these definitely need to be probably put into a palette so i'm just scooting them up so i can see them yes there's quite a bit of those we have charlotte tilbury these are cream shadows some milani single shadows and then these are all of my color pop ones which actually i think we're going to switch these over here because i have these color pop ones so i kind of want to like keep them together okay so i'm pretty happy with that now let's put in all of these and none of these are dried out because i have tested them all of my stila ones okay my Too faced ones i'm just going to put here we have these cream shadows right here and we have these three random ones that i'm gonna keep I love how this actually turned out i really like that grab these so this is going to be decluttered. We have this Juicy Couture one I have not tried yet. So I'm just going to... I don't know if that's going to close. Okay, it is. So I'm going to put the Juicy one here. Weird because this is actually not orange. Like, this is pink. I'm going to show you guys. Just look at how gorgeous this Juicy Couture one is. I love it. I've kept it in the box for a while because I want to do a video on this Juicy Couture stuff. Um, but yeah, this is what the color looks like. It's not actually orange like the label looks. And I just took this Profusion one out of its packaging so we can store it nicely in the little compartments. I don't really have anything that I plan to do with this drawer yet. I'm pretty sure there was a sticky note on there, but I don't know where it went. Um, but I also have this drawer that says small eyeshadow palettes in quince. I think we're going to start with the small eyeshadow palettes in here and then we'll work our way down so i'm gonna gather those and i'll be right back here are all my smaller palettes i'm don't know if i'm gonna use an organizer for this drawer because i still have one two probably like three or four more eyeshadow palette drawers here i did buy some new morphe palettes these are mainly for my makeup kit but i decided to get these because they had a huge sell and i've been eyeing some of these so this is the sweet oasis palette i believe this is in collaboration with i love sarai this one is the 3503, which is a very like fiery palette. I just thought this was so pretty. Um, and then I got this one, which is the 35C, which everybody raves about. And then I got the 35XO palette. And this is my favorite one, probably. Look at all those beautiful pinks. I picked these up mainly for my makeup kit, but I am gonna go ahead and store them in my in my collection so i can test them out first okay back to organizing this i don't know how to even go about making this look nice um, but we're gonna figure it out and i know i'm missing some i know this is not all of them but i'll find them I had another one of the like some more of these two-faced ones so they're down here somewhere. We will find them, but those are the ones I found for now. So we'll get back to this drawer. I'm gonna go ahead and keep this one for small palettes as well. And then this one has mugs, which we're going to take out and we're going to actually store these 
in my island over here. I'm gonna have an island organizing video soon because um, I know a lot of you guys have asked for that. So I'm going to save that for that video, but I'm gonna take out all of these mugs. Okay, so removing those mugs reminded me to go get my coffee. So that's what I went to go do. So we have coffee so we can fuel to finish this organization process. I'm gonna turn on some lights because I feel like it's getting pretty dark in here. Then there was a light, you guys, okay. So in this one, I'm supposed to put face palettes and I have a basket of those right here. Okay, so I put one of these organizers. I'm not sure if you guys remember, but I found these at Ross. And see some of these face palettes, that's not gonna work. So we're gonna have to put them back here. I think, see this one doesn't work either. have two of these Nicole Guerrero palettes. It's time to declutter the old one, so we're just gonna get rid of that. That one's actually shattered as well, so we just don't need to keep it anymore. <sighs> I'm so sad that it doesn't work that way, so let's work on, maybe we can move this one up and then we can put some palettes here. I think that would look nicer, and I'm gonna go and <laughs> figure the situation out back here because I'm not loving that either. It looks like some of these are gonna have to be leaning or laying down a bit more. So I'm gonna pull these out from the back and reorganize them. This is what I ended up working out for my face palette. This is a body highlighter. It's not really a face palette, but it's so big that I just stored it in here. But I really, really like how this worked out. So I'm very happy with it. These don't go too far back. There's only like a couple more in the back that I can just easily just scoot this to reach it and then scoot it back to close it. So that actually works out perfectly. So nice, I can see everything. I really, really like it. Moving along, we are going to put basically, oh my gosh, this is where all the other palettes went. Okay, so let me go through this and uh, grab which ones are gonna go like in the small, smaller eyeshadow palette drawers. I'm thinking of doing like a high-end and then a drugstore one for these, for these smaller palettes, because a lot of the drugstore palettes are small. I feel like that will work. So I'm gonna go ahead and separate these and let's do it. High-end ones on the top ones. So we're gonna keep Naked, Charlotte Tilbury. Um, then we're going, we're gonna keep MAC. Um, we're gonna take out Wet n Wild. Makeup Revolution, ColourPop, Jason Wu, all of these drugstore ones. Here's another ColourPop, so that leaves us with all the high-end ones. And then in this next drawer, we're gonna put all the drugstore ones. This isn't gonna stay in the way I'm doing it. I definitely plan to find a better way to organize all of these baby palettes. Just bear with me. So we have so many here. We have all of these I Love palettes by Sephora. Put these in here. Right now, all I'm doing is separating them into which drawers they're gonna go in, and then we'll see how we organize. So we have all of my drugstore smaller palettes, all of my high-end smaller palettes. We have our face palettes. And now we're going to start with basically the smallest palettes up, like naked sized palettes, Anastasia sized palettes, and go from there. But we do need an organizer for this. I'm thinking for this one, I'm gonna go ahead and use the Sony organizer. And we're going to go ahead and add these. And by the way, I ran out of the pink lining that I did use in these drawers before. So that's why they're not on all the drawers. I got questions about why I didn't put them in all the drawers. It's because I ran out, I need to go buy some more. As I did this off camera because I honestly was having the biggest headache trying to figure out how I was gonna organize these and use the organizers that I have. And I ended up using this organizer right here for my smaller high-end eyeshadow palettes. I wish I had another one for my drugstore one, so I might have to place an order for that soon because that fits so perfect. This is what we did for my high-end palettes that are kind of this size. All my Pat McGrath is in here. We have Natasha Denona, Too Faced, Anastasia Stila, YSL. I put my Jaclyn Divine Neutrals in here. 
my Pillow Talk palette by Charlotte Tilbury, my Caesar Up palette, my Too Faced Born This Way Natural Nudes. And now we are working on this baby right here and we're working with palettes that are kind of like square like this. So these, I know I had to put in my smaller palette drawer, but they did not fit right, so I had to take them out. But I have an idea for this. I thought I was gonna need this organizer for my bullet lipsticks, like to put them side by side, but I didn't end up using it. So we're going to actually use this, I think in here, for my palettes. Okay, you guys will see my idea. Hold up, because this is, this gets very frustrating, figuring out how to fit all these. <laughs> that is to, Use this and kind of put my square palettes in here that fit and the ones that don't will just line them up over here. Talk palette. Okay, my brunch palette doesn't fit and then that's where we'll start lining these up like this since they won't fit like this. You guys get the idea. It'll just make it easier to be able to see what's in there. I still have all of these palettes left that I need to somehow fit in there as the last drawer is just gonna be my big palettes. Okay, these were not exactly the easiest to organize, but this is what we came up with. We have my Pretty Rich palette. We have some Too Faced Holiday palettes in the back. You can't really see, but they're back there. And then we have all of my smaller holiday palettes, my, um, I cannot remember how to pronounce this, MAC, KKW. And now all we have are these bigger palettes. We fit all of them in this last drawer, but I do have to clean this drawer because I think coffee spilled on it. So let me do that and we'll be right back. Okay guys, so here is what I ended up doing with this drawer. We have all of my big palettes stacked up back here. And then we just kind of fit these however they fit best. Um, we do have these Bratz palettes that are a bit awkward to store, which is the bad part about them. I know, mama. She's talking to us. She's my talkative cat. So then we have this drawer. I'm just gonna give you guys an overview of this drawer. We still have room for little palettes there if I wanted to put some there. We have our face palettes. Then we have, oh, I forgot to tell you guys, I put this tub here to put the little tiny palettes in. So this is how I organize my drugstore palettes. We have my high-end smaller palettes. We have my single shadows and creams and glitters. And then we have my bullet lipsticks. I am going to actually, this extra organizer that I have here, and I might put my cream, I have some shadow sticks, that I stored it somewhere else, but I think I'm just gonna throw those in here. Um, those are all I have, but that's what we're gonna do there for now. And we have my eyelash drawer. I hope you guys enjoyed today's Organize With Me and the last and final Organize With Me for this series. If you have not seen the other two, I'm going to link them down below and put them with the little eye up here somewhere. Alrighty, that was everything. We're finally finished. Finally, finally, this was such a big project to me and i don't know why usually i feel like this is not as large of a project maybe it's because we switched the organizers and like switched where everything went that made it seem like so much but so worth it a thousand percent worth it and there's nothing i love more than sitting in my beauty room and playing in makeup this was honestly a joy to film and i hope you enjoyed it i will more than likely be doing an eyeshadow palette declutter uh, video separately. You guys saw me declutter a lot of products. I decluttered everything except my palettes. Um, yeah, that's because we're gonna do a separate video for that. So just stay tuned for that. I just feel like we gotta do a separate video for the eyeshadow palette declutter because that in itself is gonna be a monster. Okay, that's I have a lot of palettes. I have like a hundred and something palettes. So, you know, stay tuned for that video. Make sure you hit you subscribe and hit the notification or whatever of, of course it's optional girl you do not have to but you know in case you forgot i'm just reminding you i love you guys so much and i will see you in the next one Mwah. bye